Welcome to Wednesday's Tarot. This is your seven-day forecast running from June 25th to July 2nd. My name is Brooke and this is the reading for Virgo. Hi Virgo, I hope you had a great week this week. I had a viewer ask me to show the cards, so I have done something a little differently this week. I have situated my camera where you can see Albert as well as me and a wider view of the cards as I shuffle and deal them and lay them out. So we're gonna try something a little bit different this week. And it allows you as the viewer to feel more comfortable with the reading as well as giving me much comfort in giving your reading. So let's get started for Virgo. And see what's happening for you this week. All right, Virgo, here we go. Okay, Virgo, I lay out seven cards and I don't read each card as one card for each day of the week, like one card's for Wednesday, one card's for Thursday, one card's for Friday, I don't do that. I lay out seven cards for your whole week I take a quick look over, I get a feeling from the spread, and it's going to thread together to tell a story to me as the interpreter. So kick starting off your week, Leo, I'm sorry, Virgos, you do have a court card, and this is the card of the Queen of Swords. Now she is a queen, and it could be an actual person in your life, or it may be personalities of yourself. But she is one that's kind of more serious. She's more serious minded about a situation. She may be one that is filled with concern or worry. She's kind of tough, has a tough outer layer. This may be aspects of your personality or this may be somebody that you may be dealing with this week. But she has kick started off your week, Virgos. Following her, you do have a major arcana card, and this is the card of justice. And this is about legal fair matters, putting things into play in a legal way. Uh, things are balancing themselves out. There's fairness. So there may be a situation with this person or maybe a situation in your life where things have been a little, and they're going to straighten themselves up and come into a balance for you this week, possibly. Now, Virgos, you are going to be very busy. You have the Two of Pentacles, which picture a juggler on a street corner juggling different kinds of balls, and you're going to be juggling different kinds of balls in your life in terms of possibly work, family, home, um, children. So you're going to be pretty active this week. You may be doing a few things at once. Now you do have another court card that popped up for you this week. So you have a prominence of female energies this week, Virgo. And this is the Queen of Cups. And she has popped up for almost all the signs that I have read for thus far this week. So there is a lot of mother energies for the signs this week. But she is the ultimate mother type figure. Unconditional love, open arms. She may be aspects of your own personality, Virgos. She also may be a mother-type figure in your life, if you do still have your mother in your life, but she is the ultimate mother archetype figure. Now, this card has also popped up for a couple of the other signs as well. This is a major arcana card. This is the High Priestess. She's all about mystery. She's ruled by the moon. Things that have not re re revealed themselves may be coming to the surface this week. I tell my viewers when this card pops up to pay attention to your dreams or your gut instincts. Okay, so pay attention to your dreams and your intuition this week, Virgos. 
Now there is a progress card, but it's a charitable one as well. This is the Six of Wands. There may be many of you out there who are feeling charitable or gift giving. You may be receiving a gift as well this week, Virgos. However, summarizing your spread is the hangman. And this is the hangman is all he's suspended in midair. So his decisions are suspended in midair. He's a major arcana card, so decisions this week may not come to resolution as well as the next few weeks because he is a major arcana card. And when I see them in a spread, I'm also looking out forward for the next month as well. So any decisions or any things on your mind are still have still not been decided let's just say that so this card does summarize your spread Virgos but I'm going to clarify with another card and I drew this for the last sign I read and this is the ten of cups and the ten of cups could be involving the marriage family uh, there may be a decision to do with family or relationships coupled with the hangman, Virgo. So whatever decisions are up in the air right now, it may be concerning family or marriage relationships. And this, I drew another card. This is a card of slow, steady progress. So for many of you Virgos out there that have been working really hard on a relationship or a project or something to do with family or home life, this is coupled with that as well. So Virgos, I hope this reading found you well. I hope you enjoyed this opportunity to see how I deal the cards. I hope you understood how I deal the cards and how I read them. And I hope it brought you much comfort this week. Enjoy your week this week, Virgos. I'll be back in seven days and I'll speak with you soon.